We started this about three years ago after I had worked in Kenya and Tanzania for a number of years, getting on close to 30, and kind of came to the conclusion that the way out of poverty is really through enterprise instead of a lot of the traditional aid methods that we've used before. These BUVs are manufactured in the soil of Tanzania with a Tanzanian's hand and it's benefiting Tanzanians by getting employment and also out there getting a tool to use. So the BUV is promoting many lives. We started BUVs in an attempt to create an industry here that would employ people and that would also provide other businesses outside of our workshops. People in farms trying to help themselves out but they can't because their life is limited by many things. With a BUV, it's possible that you can train an educated person how to operate it, how he can use it, and he can better his life. They help people to carry water, to carry stone, to carry sand. They help workers work. Kafanya kazi, ukawa ile BUV ya mwanzo ilio kuwa imeletwa hapa ya kwanza ya yule apande sakumi. Nilipo yuona, nilivutiwa nayo sana, japokuwa nilikuwa sina kipato kikubwa sana, lakini ikawa na chunguza jisikiani, inavyo fanya kazi. Kati siku zilipokuwa zinaenda. So we believe that it really does help those out there. And if they can't afford it, we've tried to devise a program that will allow them to take a vehicle, start into the transport business, and then make weekly payments to pay off the vehicle. Many are poor people, but they know how to do the business. So they help the family, helping to have food. They using BV to getting money, and they have, they get money also to pay the BV. When we make a vehicle here, a person can buy it and start a transport business right off the bat, and they finish the payment, and they they have a BV, and they own the vehicle, and they can all the profits then go straight into their pockets. No more money to pay, and they just only feed the family, and they take care for the BV. In a rural area, where there is no good roads, there is a challenge. But the BUV can tackle those challenges easily. The good thing about this versus our competitor is that we are made out of automotive parts, so we, it's very heavy duty. The load is centered in between the wheels instead of on top of the wheels, so it makes the lower center of gravity, giving us ability to go on rougher terrain. We have stronger transmission, lower torque, making it carry heavier loads and up steeper hills. It uses diesel instead of petrol, which is often cheaper, and it has much larger load capacity. Out there, there is people who are unskilled, but they're trying to do a skill work. So we could see that there is a good spirit in them, and then we trained them, and now they are skilled people. They moved from unskilled to skilled technicians. We feel like in a way, it's kind of like an anti-poverty machine. It creates something that allows people to establish their own business. The average wage or the average income is like $2 a day. I mean, it's, that's a real thing here. And to see this thing where they can take it and they start making 350, 400, maybe even 500 bucks a month after they've made their payments is a good thing. Someone with a BUV so far, they are now able to provide for their families. They are able to live their life well and it brings them um, a motivation to feel like there is life, even they have given up before. In an ideal world, I'd love to see BUV, we'd be making thousands of these vehicles and that they would be exported to all around Africa because they are a rugged, durable machine providing people with transport businesses, providing communities with an ability to transport their things. So, yeah, I like to see us grow big.